Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to have a look at how you set overtime for a resource. So what I'm going to do is create two tasks, task A, task B, both one day tasks, both starting today. Then if I go onto the resource sheet, I'll just create one resource, Bob, and I'll give him one pound an hour normal wage and two pound an hour overtime so you can see how this works now if i go back to the gantt chart and assign bob to both of these tasks he should be over allocated so task a assign task b assign so there you go he's over allocated and you get the red indicator in the information column telling you that he's over allocated now I want to set overtime for Bob so he can do these two tasks but there are other options I could use so I could just link these tasks so just put one in there and that would sort that out undo I could create a new resource I'll just do that bill and assign bill to that second task Assign bill and take Bob off. That fixes it as well. I'll just undo that. And I could physically move this task. If I just pick it up and move it to a different day, move it without adding a link. All of these things will sort that out. Remember when you move a task, you do put a what's called a moderate constraint on. That's what's appeared in the information column there. I'll just undo that so I don't want to do any of those I could also um, change the or create a calendar for Bob so he does 10 hours a day I'll have a look at that in a second but over time is what I want to look at now if I click onto the the view tab on the right there you've got a little tick box next to details which will split the screen and I want to look at resource usage Nothing appears until you highlight the tasks or a task at the top. I'll just come across to the right a little bit. So you can see that Bob is red there. Um, he's also red, if I just quickly go onto the resource sheet, so you can see that he is, he is red there as well. So he's red in quite a few different places. And what you have to do is make sure he is not red. You cannot leave these red indicators showing over allocated resources because if he was let's say that that's say something you know about he doesn't go redder or you don't get two red men if he gets over allocated further down a task list so you've got to rationalize this and get rid of all of these red men wherever possible well i'll just say all the time not wherever possible now to do this we need to add another column so if i type over time down here you've got over time work and then you can allocate eight hours overtime for Bob in that column. And then you can see what's happened there. It's no longer red and he's doing eight hours. Now, if I change this table to the cost table, cost, you can see that he gets 16 hours, not 16 hours, 16 pounds for the task B, which is the overtime rate, remember? two pound an hour as opposed to one pound an hour on that one put it back to the entry option now on the gantt chart you can see that it, because these are just eight hour days set on the in the options it, it can't it doesn't show it going on to wednesday it shows it within the tuesday block now if i put the link in there it's still follows on but stays within the the tuesday block so it hasn't gone on to to wednesday as such like that now if i if i reduce the timeline if i go into this timeline and set it to one tier one tier and hours let's see how it sits and i just need to scroll to task scroll to task so it comes off so it doesn't actually give you the breakdown of the hours over that nighttime period so it's just sitting there 
because that's like down as a non-working time so I'll just undo that so that's how you set overtime and that's how you can do it but you can also if I just take this overtime off put that back to zero so is um, and then get rid of this link so he's now back over allocated I'll just get rid of this split as well let's have a look at doing a calendar for for Bob so on the project tab you've got change working time you can create a new calendar so I'm going to create a new calendar and I'm going to call it um, I'll call it overtime and it's a copy of the standard calendar and you can copy whichever one you think you need to copy you could do a 24 hour one if you want in fact I will do a 24 hour one let's see what happens here okay now in the work weeks details you've got it going all the way around like that so it's a whole 24 hours so I'll do this one and then I'll do one of the standard calendar and you'll see the difference so I'll click OK and now if I go onto the resource sheet and just double click on Bob and go into the calendar and select overtime which is that one I didn't type overtime did I okay that's what I should have called it but never mind that'll work okay okay and then go back is now no longer over allocated because he's it's got a 24 hour calendar and if I put that to there so I link it it's sitting in the same time frame if I double click on the timeline again and go down to hours okay first I've set it to one tier go down to hours okay and go to scroll to task to bring that back into view you can now see the difference so before it was not showing anything it was just a block of eight hours there now it is showing the eight hours that he works across the top there so it's totally up to you how you do that um, there's different ways if I just get rid of that link you can give them overtime you change the calendar and give them an overtime calendar um, it, it depends how you want this to sit if you don't like it being like a milestone marker which to be honest I don't like it being a milestone marker because it gives an impression that it is a milestone on the Gantt chart and if people are familiar with milestones they miss they may misread that task so you can give it a new calendar create a new calendar and then change the working time on that if I do a standard calendar let's do an um, if I go back to projects and create another calendar um, new calendar I'll call this copy of standard this is going to be over time and okay okay and in fact I've done that wrong already go back into it so we've got overtime so I need to change the details on that so let's say this calendar is gonna is gonna finish at 2200 hours okay okay now let's say this task is um, that's going to be eight hours this is going to be four hours four each slightly different still have to go back into the resource sheet and give Bob that calendar the overtime calendar over time and then look at details you can see it's changed there okay 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 all right so it's still over allocated if we go back into the Gantt chart and get these to follow on is now not over allocated now if I change the timeline back down to one tier hours click OK to that scroll to task 
so I can just change that to task usage so what's happening here is it's showing three hours work on Tuesday so 11 on Tuesday and then one hour on Wednesday and that is because this calendar I've picked is a copy of the standard calendar which has um, non-working time overnight so realistically for this to work you need to create a copy of the 24 hour calendar which we did before and then you won't get this extra hour so if I just go back and do that if I just double click into Bob and put him back onto the 24 hour copy of the 24 hour one okay okay and then when you look at the Gantt chart it doesn't go all the way through to the next day and if I go on to task usage again it's doing all of those hours in on Tuesday if I go into the timeline and put that down to one tier hours let's see what this one looks like scroll to task so you can see it's doing the hourly, hourly breakdown and then you've got the hourly breakdown the four hours on task B but they're not going over to the next day because this is a 24 hour um, calendar so all of those are just different options that you can use to rationalize or sort out overtime issues Whichever one you use, you've got to bear in mind that if you copy the standard calendar, you're copying the fact that this is non-working time. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video. So that is how to set over time for a resource and how to set over time using the calendar option for a resource, whichever one you want to do. So hopefully that was of use to you and I'll see you on the next one.